Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our topic on test automation obstacles, let's look at our next obstacle, which is called the obvious. Now this is one of the easy obstacles, but the reason I'm showing you this obstacle is it's a pretty common scenario which you will encounter in your applications. So it's quite useful to know how to get around this uh, obstacle pretty easily, right? So in this particular obstacle, we need to generate a random string by clicking on the button. So once we click on the button, it is going to generate a random string. And then there is a drop down, okay? And this drop down contains one of these random strings, okay? So you don't know which uh, random text will be generated, but uh, it is part of this particular list. Now you need to uh, select a particular item from this list which matches that random text. Okay, so in this case, uh, it starts with K. So if I select this and then I click on submit, then the obstacle is completed. Okay, so we have to automate this particular scenario using Tosca. So let's go to Tosca and let's quickly see how we can automate this particular obstacle. So first of all, uh, let me quickly go ahead and create a module for this particular obstacle. So I'm going to scan this application. And we need a couple of elements right here. So we need uh, the generate random text. Then uh, we need the text box. And then uh, we also need the select item box, right? So this is a select uh, element which contains a lot of different elements, right? So these are the three uh, elements which we require. And then we also require the submit button. Okay, so actually four elements. Now let's go ahead and uh, rename our module so to, to match this particular obstacle ID. And we are going to save this and uh, we will close this. Okay. So the next part is to add a test case. So we are going here and we are going to add a test case here. Okay, and then let's add the particular module here with which we'll work with. And now let's go ahead and look at the test steps, right? So the first test step is to click on this particular button. So I will use uh, X here to click on it and then uh, it will generate a random text, right? Now the next step is to store the random text into a buffer variable. And for that we can use the action mode buffer. So uh, let's add another step into the test case. Okay, and here we are going to use the buffer action mode. I'm going to remove this particular module attribute because we have already uh, clicked on this. Okay, so we are going to now use the buffer action mode here and we are going to specify a buffer name. Let's call it R&D. Okay, and then the next step is to uh, select that particular uh, randomly generated text in the select dropdown. Okay, so again, uh, we need this step where we will do this okay and uh, we make sure that uh, we remove any any other steps which have been uh, included here or any other values okay and then in the select link we are just going to specify the buffer here okay so this is the buffer value which will be selected and then the final step is to click on the submit link okay so here we are again going to use the X to click on this. So these are all the four steps, okay? So you need to use the module four times because we have got four different steps here and it's always recommended to have just one action uh, or one value selected in one of your modules, right? So uh, you can always go ahead and rename all these steps. So here it is to click on random uh, button okay and then uh, here uh, we are buffer random text and then here uh, 
we select random text and finally we click on submit okay so now our test case is complete we will mark it as completed and uh, now we will go ahead and try to run this in scratchbook okay so as you can see uh, it clicked on the generate random text it buffered uh, the randomly generated text and then uh, it used that buffer value to select it from the drop down and then it clicked on the submit okay it's a pretty simple obstacle as i mentioned earlier but it's a pretty common scenario which you will come across numerous times in your application so you should be comfortable uh, with uh, how to automate this particular scenario uh, in your application using tosca that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video